Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to add drop shadow. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So we are inside of Adobe Premiere Pro right now, and I'm still using all panels, all right? So all panels here, or window, workspace, all panels. I already have a sequence here, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a legacy title, all right? So let's go here, file, um, let's go to new, and let's go to legacy title, all right? And um, let's try this uh, drop shadow. Drop shadow, click OK. There you go. Now we have the uh, title drop shadow in here. So uh, look, my cursor is already uh, this one. And then I'll go try to type drop shadow. Shadow. All right. Highlight everything, Command A. And then let's try to look for, let's try to make it bold. All right. So that it will. Uh, increase and then I'll try to increase the size all right uh, right about that big all right so that we can see and I'm gonna put it in the middle so go to legacy tile actions um, try to put it here center and there you go now we have the uh, drop shadow uh, text now to add a drop shadow okay where is it so here all right let's try to put this drop shadow text in our timeline all right there you go now it's already here we have the drop shadows here now I want to put a uh, like a, a different background color all right so to do that we can uh, add a, a color mat so let's go to new item here and then let's click on uh, color mat all right let's click OK uh, let's try to choose this light color say blue color all right all right I'm happy with that click OK all right all right now the color mat here let's drag it here in our timeline there you go there's a drop shadow and there's a blue background this is our background this is our text all right all right now so to add a drop shadow all we have to do is to uh, look for effects uh, panel here and then look for a uh, drop shadow all right so here is the drop shadow all right so under video effects perspective and there's a drop shadow here all we have to do is to add a drag and drop this to our text all right now the effect is already added in our text to make some changes in that um, effect all we have to do is to click on this uh, drop shadow and then click on effects control here scroll down look for our uh, drop shadows effect all right so here we can change those properties by uh, you know messing these uh, you know numbers all right so opacity uh, how strong the color transparency of the uh, the shadows and the, the direction of the shadows, the distance of the shadows, and the softness of the shadows, all right? Let's go with, um, all right, so let's go and try to make some changes on distance, all right? So I'm going to drag this number. We can just type the numbers if you know exactly the number. But um, if you just want to fine tune, you can just hold and drag the mouse to right or left, okay? So uh, from left, you know, it's incre decreasing it. But from right, I'm dragging to the right, it's increasing the uh the uh, the uh, distance right so if you're gonna notice in this um and the uh in the program monitor if i'm drag this distance to the right all right the distance of our drop shadow is really really going uh far all right all right far away all right so that's on the distance of 458 the drop shadows with 458 distance is uh you know shows like this all right Let's go ahead and decrease this right, right about that. Okay, so I'm happy with that. All right, the next one is our direction. Okay, so let's try to change the direction. So there's a 103 degree at the moment. Let's try to increase it. So if you're going to increase it, it's going clockwise. All right, clockwise. And if you're going to the left, all right, dragging the uh, mouse to the left, it's going counterclockwise. All right. There you go. All right, so it's up to you. Where do you want to put your um, shadow direction? All right, so I'm happy with you know this uh, direction. All right, cool. Now the opacity. Currently, on the default, you are on 50% opacity. But it's up to you if you want to decrease it or increase it. So let's go and try to increase 50%. Let's up it up to bump it up to 100%. And as you can see, the drop shadows is really going intense and intense. And it's really hard right now. All right, drop shadows at opacity at 100%. This will look like this. Now, let's go and try to decrease the opacity to, let's say, 90, 80, 70%, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, and 
zero. All right, opacity zero percent, slowly gone. All right, you cannot see this because this is the uh, transparency of the uh, of the shadows opacity. Okay, all right. So let's go and try to put in fifty percent. Five zero. Okay, I'm just typing it on the keyboard. Hit enter. There you go. Got fifty percent right there. Shadow color. All right. If you want, currently we are on the black shadow color. We can change this. All right. It's either you can click in this little box or you can use these uh, eye drop. All right. So let's say. Okay. Let's try to change this first using this box inside. If you click in this, this color picker will open. All right. So you be basically can you just. You click your mouse or move your mouse anywhere in this color panel to choose what color you'd like. All right. So it's currently here, right? This color, and now we're gonna change it from here. All right. So if we're gonna change this color, as you can see, it's changing the uh, the uh, the first box color. All right. Also, you can click in this uh, you know bar. All right. To check for the color you want. All right. So you go here. You just click here with the red, blue, green and red again all right so as you can see all the properties of this color is changing all right so i'm happy with let's say you know dark green all right dark green something like that okay click ok with that and there you go the drop shadow is right there now if you want to use this um uh, color all right so uh, if you click on this and then this will change to a um, an eyedropper so basically uh what color do you want to do so all you have to do is to choose the color that you want to do so that you want to be uh you're using this eyedropper so you add drop shadow in your uh text all right you can also put drop shadows in a picture all right so let's say okay we have here a picture here all right we have the picture let's try to add some picture here all right and then let's uh, minimize this picture all right like that okay and then let's try to extend this to the uh, blue uh, uh, background. All right. Let's try to add drop shadow in this picture. Okay. Let's try to add some drop shadow by just dragging and drop it to our um, here. Okay. There. Now let's go and try to go to the effects of this uh, photo. And then let's click on the drop shadow here. Opacity, direction. All right. Uh, let's try with the distance. Okay. As you can see, there's a distance right there. All right, and then you can uh, go to the softness and uh, softness of the uh, the shadows. All right, and there's the shadows only. All right, if you click in the shadows only, the picture or the text will be gone. It will only apply. It will only show the shadows. All right. It's also the same thing here in the t uh, in our text. So if you go to uh, these text, drop shadow text, and then we change the soft. Oh, we change the shadow only. We check this box the uh, text will be gone and the drop shadow will be only um show or the shadow only will be shown okay and all right let's uncheck this and let's also change the softness all right so softness 100 to 200 percent softness as you can see and then with the uh, uh, uh zero uh sh softness is very hard but you can increase the softness of the shadow by increasing these numbers all right all right i'm happy with that okay also with the picture also with the picture it's the same all right so right now there's no picture so let's open this effects control let's go to drop shadows let's uncheck that shadows only as you can see it's right there all right it's right there okay so let's try to put some picture drop shadows yeah, here drop shadows and let's try to put this text at the, on top of that all right and then let's try to drop shadows. All right, cool. So here you go. So once you play it, that's gonna be your drop shadows. All right, that's it. So that's how you add drop shadow on picture. Uh, it's either on picture or on text, all right? So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.